And looks like we're gonna get into winners finals with Jamari and Nick C. So both of these players coming off of a 2-0 victory against their respective players. Uh, Hime coming off of a win against Toad and Soren coming off of a win against Garrett. Hime once again starting with his DVD. I don't blame him. It's been a really nice run for him tonight. Let's just see what Jamari has to offer. Now Soren, he has a million characters up his sleeve. Uh, we'll s it looks like maybe Shulk. Looks like he got off a shoulder. Thinking about Bowser, really? Huh. Looks like he can't decide. Soren has a lot of characters in his pocket. He's got a Shulk. Um, you know, he's got really everything. He plays random most of the time. A Palutena, potentially. Interesting choice. Uh, I would definitely say his Link and his Shulk are a grade above the rest. Alexis is stepping out right now. All right, here we are, winners finals, Desert Springs Community Church 51. Both these players coming off of a 2-0 victory. Soren coming off of a win against Garrett. This is gonna be a, a really hard tournament for Garrett. Garrett has never not placed out of, outside of grand finals. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what happens in losers. We'll see if Garrett makes it all the way back to grand. So uh, this Palutena, an interesting choice for sure. Uh, uh, for Soren, I haven't really seen him pull out his Palutena much in bracket. Today, I'm hopping on the mic. Hey, what's good? <laughs> yeah. Today, what are you thinking right now? Uh, uh, I'm feeling a little gunky today. I remember telling Andy before I set that I wasn't like I I was feeling like I was a little off, and then he beat me really good. Yeah, no, that was probably the upset of the week. Andy yeah. Taking it over today. Uh, anyways, enough about me sucking. <laughs> <laughs> we going right now, head to head. We got DDD and Palutena. And I was overhearing, literally right now, uh, yeah. Soren's friend saying that he was maining Palutena at the beginning of the game. Oh, really? Interesting. Yeah. So maybe, uh, maybe it's a little come to come back to form. But right now, you know, Nick has the lead, and this is for going into win. This is gonna go into grand, into right? Grand finals. Yeah. So this is a phenomenal job for Nick right now. Definitely. Uh, he was the fifth seed going into the top eight. Uh, but now, definitely has the potential, guaranteed third place. Um, and Nick, Nick's taken a set off of Storm before. Not many people can say that. I think only three or four people, I believe only three people have taken a set. No, four, three or four people have taken a set off of Storm. I think it's three because the past two weeks I've sent him to losers and then he would get eliminated. The first yeah. time Nick beat him and then the second time I don't recall who beat him. Actually, I believe four people. I believe it's uh, Nick, Tadeo, um, Garrett, and... John, TMJ, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. sets off of him. So, great feat, Nick, definitely um, has a great win. We're going into, they're both at their second stock right now. It's pretty even. DDD lives forever, it seems like. Now, I remember Nick saying he is not a fan of this matchup, but he's playing it pretty well. I don't know if it's, maybe Soren's not too familiar with the how to fight a DDD with Palutena, because it is a pretty wonky matchup. It is, definitely. And Nick, Nick plays DDD in such a way that he pushes the characters to his extremes. Yes. And what I mean by that is he spaces it just in a way that is phenomenal. He covers options like that with Gordo. He takes people off stage like that. <laughs> That's know, good. Uh, he uses also, he always uses like all of his jumps off stage because he goes for those edge guards. He uses forward tilt at max range. He uses down tilt to get himself out of situations. Plays a very, I think frustrating play style would be a good way to describe oh, yeah. how he plays. He's he sets up traps and he just lets you walk in. Oh my god. Just like that, G Gordo actually saving that stock. We'll see what Jamari does with it. He's got a long way to go. Jamari on his last stock. Yeah, right now it's not looking too good. It's looking like an uphill battle, but Jamari can make it back. Follows Hanna definitely has the factor, but the hammer missing. Back air sending Nick off stage. Was hoping that he would fall down right into his back air. Oh, that's a regrab. No, oh, no punish. Up to coming in. Great if job. If Soren can take the stock right now, which he will, wow. it's not over. It is not over. Now, DDD, of course, it's hard to get gimmicky kills on this character. He has an amazing recovery. He makes it back to stage a lot of the time. Definitely. So we'll see. He's got a lot of hard work to put in. He just needs to make sure every hit counts. And like this, the Nair String's coming in. It's getting him to almost 50%. But, you know, Nick just kind of keeping it calm. He only needs a hit to, to basically end this match. Jamari sitting at 125. 
spacing back airs is exactly what Hime should be doing right now. Oh, the down tilt coming in. Putting Soren in a recovery position. Now it's time for the ledge trap. Is Nick going to get the kill from this? Ooh, Ooh he doesn't he get it that time. That's how he took the last thought. I've been in that thought. situation before, and I know what to do differently now. Great grab. You know, right now, it's, it's kind of... That's high time that Nick gets the kill because Zorn's kind of catching up. Oh, but the bear's going to end it, it right just there. Just as you spoke of it, that forward air taking the kill. But Jamari, I mean, they're doing a phenomenal job bringing that back. It got DDD all the way up to 88%. He was sitting at, you know, well over 100 that entire time. Definitely. I think it's um, the, the biggest deceiving part for me against DDD is the super low amount of uh, end lag a lot of his moves have. You expect a big Lunky character to have like quite a bit yes. of end lag, so you can punish it if he whiffs an up air. But you saw right there, he whiffed the up air, immediately threw out fair, and it ended the game. Definitely, yeah. You'll see him a lot. Anytime he's in a sticky situation and somebody's up close with him, he'll throw out a down tilt, he'll throw out a forward tilt, um, and get himself out of a bad situation. Definitely, definitely. Well, I'm a bounce, guys. All right, we just sorted out uh, some of the bracket right now. Today I was gonna go play Isaac in losers, I believe quarters finals, semi -final, losers quarterfinals. See you later, Tadeo. See if anybody comes on commentary. But back to the game, Soren switching it up, going to Nick. I think that this is the right play. It'll be interesting to see what kind of projectiles will actually reflect Gordo. We'll see if. Um, Soren can do a good job of walling DDD out. DDD is an extremely annoying character. And as you can see right there, I pressured the whole shield really. Very hard to edge guard. And so uh, this tune link, he's got good kill power, uh, great projectiles. Interesting interaction right there. Those layers of mix ups that they could have taken. There you, go. And you see exactly why uh, he pulled out this tune link in this game right now. You see, you know, there's. Bombs and boomerangs galore, and DDD doesn't really have options. You know, there we go, boomerang reflecting Gordo, and it really kind of stuffs out with DDD, uh, how DDD wants to play. DDD, you know, there's kind of two ways that DDD wants to, to play. Great back air, or excuse me, back throw coming out. DDD really wants to either wall you out with Gordos and space forward airs and forward tilts and stuff like that, or he wants to be setting up ledge traps, setting up. Down tilts and forward airs, taking you off stage and stuff like that. But Toon Link completely uh, antithetical to, I believe, that kind of playstyle. You see right there that Boomerang, not exactly sending him where he wants to go, but um, you can definitely see the stark contrast between this game and last game. Uh, Toon Link sitting at 92%, uh, already up to 54 on even. 76, you know, I've uh, spoken too soon. On a second stock, um, for that matter, you can see DDD struggles to get back to the ground. He struggles to get himself out of these sticky situations. Uh, he has um, not a lot of end lag on a lot of his moves, but he has very slow start up on a lot of his moves. And that's you know the problem, as you can see right there, that forward tilt trading with that boomerang. Um, DDD just has a really hard time getting out of these sticky situations that um, he's putting him in a B. Yes. Oh, sending him the other way. What an interesting interaction right there. 159 on Hime. He really wants to get off this ledge, but as you can see, the flurry of blows coming out of Soren. And there he goes. Sealing out the stock with that up air. Hime has a lot of ground to cover. He's up 1-0 right now. We'll see. He's actually got a couple other characters. He's got a duck hunt. Um, we'll see if he'll pull it out. He's got a rob. He says he wants to get into Ice Climber, so it'll be interesting to see if he pulls out any of those characters right now because Toon Link is taking a commanding victory for Soren. So, all of these back airs coming out. As you can see right there, not feeling pressured at all to approach by Soren. The triple, I believe that was Florida. Back throw, not going to do it, sitting at 157. He really wants to fish off stage, seal out that stock quicker than what he's managing right now. 
back throw takes it. At DDD sitting at 76, not too high of a percent, you know, 92 now, 97. Um, not too crazy of a percent for DDD. DDD lives for a really long time, but it, you know, two, being two socks down, Soren's on a fresh talk. Uh, it looks like game two is probably going to go to Soren. Uh, it'll be interesting, it's interesting to see how game three plays out. You know, maybe FDU is just a bad stage for DDD right now, especially in this matchup. May are reflecting that projectile. He's got to get off this ledge. Oh, but the back throw. It'll be interesting. Oh. Armoring through that four tilt. Now sitting at 176. This is the danger zone for him right now. He's got tons of setups that'll lead him to kills, yeah. So it's gonna be hard for him to get back down. He's gotta go to ledge, but Soren's ledge trapping is definitely as you can see, he's just almost playing with his with his food right here. He may really just gotta take him off stage just like that. Keep him off stage. The unfortunate part a lot of DDD's moves are they step you out of very Oh my goodness, I did not expect that up air to kill at all. It's at 193. We'll see if he can bring this back. This would be a phenomenal, phenomenal comeback if he's able to do this. Board air. Gordo. Oh, no. And that back air takes it. Unfortunate spacing on that. We're going into 1-1 one, one right now. Soren sitting at one win. And he may sitting out one win going into game three it'll be interesting to see if they do switch characters he may specifically that tune link was definitely the play on soren's behalf palatine is a good match against ddd but this tune link is just oppressive it reminds me a little bit of mega man ddd in smash 4. heading into game three winner of this moves on to grand finals and they'll be sitting in winner's side uh, for both of these players, this game means a lot right now. Jamari um, not performing as well as he'd like to these past two weeks, taking the fourth and fifth place. Nick never having made it this far. Um, this game, you know, this game three means a lot. Or actually, excuse me, this is winners finals. It's best of five, boys. Um, this game, you know, means a little bit less. It's not going to be the end of the set, but it's definitely going to be pivotal going forward into you know a power play of how well they're going to perform and he may sitting and sticking with the DDD. There. Adapter. Coming back to it, no stock has been taken yet. He may sitting at 138. Soren sitting at 65. Both of these players are definitely a little bit more even from last game. It looked like he was uncomfortable last game. Back throw taking that stock. Felt like that was a little bit early. Definitely looks a little bit more comfortable in this matchup this game. See, as you can tell, he's being a little bit more cautious about approaching. He's trying to stay in that middle range where he's not just getting hit by tons of projectiles, but he's also close enough where he can force some options out of Sword. But you know, still sitting at 72, uh, he's attacked on 63% unanswered. Double forward air, gets the grab. Wow, what a phenomenal play right there by Soren. Boomerang taking it. See how he may tries to get off, empty hopping, almost taunting him into that forward air. Soren's up two stocks now. I take back what I said. It appears that uh, he may does not have an answer for this tune link. This is definitely a hard matchup, but you know, a hill that he may can climb. Dante putting him off stage. Bordo clipping him. 
Oh, double jump up here. Great job at chasing him. DDD actually being a phenomenal character at edge guard. He's super hard to edge guard. He's got multiple jumps. Great moves with good knot back off stage. Or tilt deceptively long. Footsies right now. Four tilt. Run up shield. Boomerang. Arrow. Just trying to play around each other. Figure out this neutral. Um, he may definitely I think, need to be trying to get in more. Uh, if he keeps sitting at that range where he gets hit by everything, it's going to be hard for him. But as you can see, even when he goes in, uh, you know, he just gets hit by multiple forward airs, gets sent off stage, bomb drops, and stuff like that. If we'll see a character switch out of he may. So yeah, 111. Ooh, great job. Fastball there in the down tilt. Keeping him off stage with the Bordo. Soren absolutely content with just walling him out, spacing him out with these boomerangs, his bombs, his arrows. He may taking center stage control. He does not want to give that up. He does not want to give Soren room. Interesting interaction right there on that four tilt. Does not want to give him that stage control to give him what he wants to do. He wants to keep him off stage just like that. Flex the Gordo back. He's sitting at 150 right now. We'll see if he brings back. It's going to be hard to get off stage. Oh my goodness. Yep. Uppies right into it. A JV2 stock right there. Can I get no Sword is up 2 1 right now. Uh, he may is probably praying that Jamari goes back to another character. It'll be interesting to see if he may changes, if he switches. He's, I know he's definitely got a duck hunt. Um, he's a little bit unconfident in the duck hunt. He doesn't know if uh, he, he should pull it out in tournament or not, but we'll see. We'll see if this DVD is not working out right now. He's sticking with the DDD, a character loyalist. That get up attack with armoring through forward tilt. As you can see, Soren is content keeping this pressure up. That grab, great job getting him off stage. As you can see, he's less concerned with ledge trap and but more concerned with just keeping the pressure on. These bombs, these arrows, these boomerangs. I mean, he really hasn't responded with an answer yet for all of these projectiles coming his way, so Mario's gonna keep it up. Cross one air into down, so that is a quick burst option for you to be a picture that you wouldn't really expect to have an option like that. Gordo on shit gets the grabs into the off stage. Down, smash, just barely missing it now. Reversal of fortune right now. He may be off stage. Top A right now is consistent of Tadeo, Andres, Nick A, Nick C, Garrett, Isaac, and Jamari, and Andy. On just unfortunately. On just unfortunately taking seventh place, as well as Andy. We have Garrett, Nick A, Tadeo, and Isaac sitting in the losers' quarters right now. And then the first Nick and Jamari sitting in the first finals.
Jackson is in at 136, that back air, back throw, excuse me. Pressing him off stage, really not allowing him to get back safely. Bomb in the forward air. Still sitting on his first stock, Soren looks like he's going to take this. Um, not be surprised at all to see uh, Jamari making this on into winner's side of Grand Finals. Uh, news happening in the loser's bracket. Garrett takes out Nick A. Uh, Tadeo loses to Isaac Tadeo. Uh, his win streak of two. Oh my goodness, I should have been looking at the screen right now. Holy cow, Soren. Dancing um, off stage with Hime. Hime takes, or excuse me, Soren takes that set 3 1.